Hi, I'm Sophie from UChicago. I'll be talking about our pursuit of usable and useful data downloads. The right of access is a key privacy principle requiring that organizations provide a data subject a copy of the data it holds about them upon request. In recent years, the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, and the California Consumer Privacy Act, CCPA, have strengthened the right of access. When users invoke their right of access, companies typically provide a downloadable archive, which we call data downloads. Data downloads come in many different formats, JSON, CSV, HTML, and more. Here's a small excerpt from my Spotify data, which was a folder containing 11 JSON files. These downloads can be massive, sometimes many gigabytes large, with nested folders and files. Both the magnitude of data downloads and the variance in how different companies format their files raise questions about whether current data downloads provide useful transparency. Thus, we identified three research questions. First, how do users react to both the format and content of current data downloads? Second, what information do users consider important to include in data downloads? And what uses do they imagine for this information? Third, how could data downloads be redesigned to better support users' goals? We answered these questions through a user study. We recruited prospective participants on Prolific and had them request their own data from one of six popular websites. When they received their data, we invited them to a 75-minute online focus group with three to four other participants. Overall, we conducted 12 focus groups with a total of 42 users. We selected six companies that had fast and easy data request processes. Each participant downloaded their own data from one of these companies. During focus groups, we led participants through a series of activities that helped them explore their data and co-design ideas for the future of data access. Each session focused on one company. We first explained the laws that enabled users to download their data in the first place. We then gave them several minutes to freely explore their files while thinking aloud letting us capture their real-time reactions to their own data. We then led a structured scavenger hunt to ensure that participants were familiar with their data downloads. We then led a group discussion in which users talked about the format and content of their data downloads. To inspire users to think about other ways of viewing their data, we briefly summarized data visualization techniques and had them explore visualizations on the Information is Beautiful website. Finally, we asked users to sketch their ideal version of a data visualization tool for data downloads. We wanted to learn how they would prefer to see their data, as well as which ideas discussed during the session made it into these designs. To analyze the data, we transcribed the sessions and performed affinity diagramming. We also analyzed users' sketches. We coded for the themes that emerged in affinity diagramming. In our paper, we present design recommendations based on what participants observed and suggested. I'll quickly highlight some key findings. Users described navigating data downloads as time-consuming, overwhelming, and hard. One participant said, it's like they didn't even try, they just kind of dumped it on you. Another stated, most of the interesting data is stored in these files that, as a non-specialist, I can't read. We're effectively illiterate when it comes to reading this additional data they've been collecting. Participants suggested many organization and filtration options to improve the process of navigating their files. Users also hope to see more data about inferences and recommendation algorithms, which some companies omit. A participant from a Facebook group said, what's interesting to me is how my online behavior is affecting how this company and all the affiliates see me. And in what categories say they put me or don't put me. That has a way broader implication. Who is programming these algorithms? Do they represent a broader part of society or are they all from a very similar group? Participants also wanted future data downloads to be more interactive and fun to explore. Some requested an in-band deletion feature, which would leverage their legal right of erasure. We also make policy recommendations. Data downloads are often machine readable so that they satisfy data portability rights. However, this can make files hard for humans to understand. Data access laws should include readability standards. The law should clarify what data is required to appear in a data download, potentially including inferences and derived data. Further, several participants felt that their files were incomplete. Companies should specify when and why data is missing. We hope our initial study spurs future research, making data downloads more useful and usable. Thanks for listening.